can of course say that. Um, uh, I am a woman who has a vast uh, family. And, and what I mean by that is, uh, and that's not my chosen family. So I have uh, my mother's side of the family. She's one of eight. My, uh, my biological dad, who is one of six. Uh, I am one of eight siblings of various uh, parental units. <laughs> um, and, and my stepdad who adopted me, he is one of six. So uh, when I bring my partner, Nathan, who I've been with for 17 years, and also I own his family. Mm. Um, so he has two kids, a dad, a stepmom, several, like there is lots of blood and non-blood family that I live with on a regular basis. Um, but I'm here to talk about chosen family, right? Uh, and, and there is a, there is plenty of chosen family uh, right here in Macon. I mean, just raise your hand if you just live in my world on the right. Just, if you just live in my world on the right, right? Just an amazing group of chosen family. Like, whether we see each other every day or whether we know each other on the regular, but I do have that. But I'm here to talk about Sandra Piscatelli and Kelly Caruso. And if you don't know any of those names, those names are fucking Staten Island, New York. They, mm -hmm. they embody my 13 years in Staten Island. And when I met Nathan Dees, who is my partner, 17 years, we are not married. We do not have children together. Uh, but we share his children that he got bef you know, he had before. Uh, they are my bonus children. But this is about my two friends, Sandra Piscatelli, Kelly Caruso and Sandra Puss Kelly and Kelly Caruso, when I met Nathan Dees, they were basically like, who is this character? Who is this guy who's going to make you move to Georgia, to Macon, Georgia? How is that going to happen? And uh, we had dated a year and a half before I packed up my entire life uh, and moved it down to Macon, Georgia. I moved my entire life in a RAV4 to live with that guy. <laughs> um, but let's be clear, I did keep my apartment for a year and a half before I actually became a Georgia resident. So here's the two stories that embody my chosen family. The first is, uh, they uh, packed my car, they threw me a party, they packed my car, and we drove down to Macon, Georgia. And the very first thing that we do is we go to a hash. And a hash is basically a drinking club with a running problem. And uh, it's hashing is like a real thing. Shout out to hashers. Woo -hoo! Uh, and uh, the very first thing that uh, Nathan does is uh, as we're on this trail, we're getting lost. I can't tell you all about hashing. It just is what it is. It's a drinking club with a running problem. You basically, it's like hound in hair. So there's a guy who, or girl, who runs and like, throws a trail, and then you have to chase after them and get like dirty names, and there's like a circle at the end, and as we're on this trail, we're lost, and Nathan, uh, as, a, as we're going along this trail, uh, I'm basically going like, maybe we should go this way, maybe we should go this way, what do you think about this? And we're just lost as a group, and my two girlfriends from New York are following us, and we're like doing the trail, we're doing the thing, and I'm like, what about this way, what about this way? And then Nathan goes, fucking women. And my two girls, my two chosen family, they were going to pack my shit up and bring them back to New York because that is not how we do it. And, uh, and so I was like, hey, babe. Um, so the girls are really concerned that you said fucking women. And he was like, I did not say fucking women. Uh, the name of the person that was... Uh, doing the trail. His name was Lemon, and he said fucking women. <laughs> but my girls heard fucking women, and they were like, pack her shit up. We're going back to Staten Island, New York. That's right. That was it, right? Yes. Um, so 
Another thing that happened on that on that trip when I first moved to Macon, Georgia, to live with my new boyfriend. By the way, we've been together 17 years. This is not a fly by night. Like we got we got time together. Like we're good. So uh, the very first weekend that they moved me here was also Brag Jam weekend, and uh, my girls we know we lived in New York. So I mean this you know chill kind of girl. I lived in New York City for 13 years in my 20s. Was Sandra Piscatelli, who was literally, we walked down the street and then were like, girl. And Kelly Caruso, she walks down the street, girl. And I'm like, so I know how to dress up for New York. So we come for Bride Jam weekend and we are from the north and we have come south on the last weekend in July in Lincoln, Georgia. <laughs> Which is not cold, it's zero cold. It is the opposite of cold. And uh, so we walk down and uh, there's like cockroaches, there's like live music, there's like smoky bars. And uh, the three of us decide we're gonna, we were at Red Eye Jism, and raise your hand if you know Red Eye Grill. Nobody. I, wait, am I older than all of you? <laughs> So we are at Red Eye Grow, which is a Dana, and we decide that we're not going to be down there anymore, and we go onto the street corner of MLK and Cherry Street, and uh, we're standing on the corner there, and we're smoking cigarettes. We're, you know, early 30s, and, uh, and we are sweating. We are just drip, dripping sweat. Our hair is out to here. Now, we know how to go out, but no, we do not have to go, know how to go out in the Sabbath. <laughs> And we see a gaggle, a gaggle of women, at least eight, coming down the street. And it is like a freaking, like, what is that? Like a, it is, their wind is blowing in their hair. Their makeup is beautiful. They have the heels on. They're chit-chatting, and they're about to go down the stairs into Red Eye Grill. Sandra Piscatelli and me and Kelly Caruso, we are just sweat like this. Just gross, nothing feels right, we feel bloated, we're like, our hair is out to here. Sandra Piscatelli's smoking her cigarette. She goes, fucking bitches. <laughs> and it was the most beautiful chosen family moment because, right, she's dropping me off in a place that I don't know if I'm gonna make it in. I've been here 16 years. She doesn't know if I'm gonna make it here, and all she knows is that she has to have my back. And Kelly Carissa goes, you're right, they're fucking bitches. <laughs> and all I know is that chosen family is the best family you could ever find, right? Like your, your blood will have your back, but your chosen family will bury the body. I know that's Thank you.